Hi guys, welcome back. And today, what I have for you is a Dollar Tree haul. Woo! I'm excited because I haven't been there in a very long time. I cannot even remember the last time I've been there since this coronavirus thing. And um, it's springtime, soon it will be summer. And I wanted to go over there and see what they have and also share with you what I found at the Dollar Tree. So first, I just wanna say um, thank you for taking the time to watch my channel. And as you know, please like this videos and subscribe um, and to share with your friends. Um, also, um, if you don't subscribe and share, well, welcome. And um, I hope you enjoy the video. So, let me just share with you what I found at Dollar Tree. I went, I think I was there yesterday, and um, I was very surprised. I was nervous because the last time I was in Dollar Tree, there was too many people. And um, so when I went this time around, I was surprised. There was like five of us, seven of us in the whole store. And so, you know, it was good for me because, you know, less people, the better. And... Um, Dollar Tree is no different than other stores. They have the arrows, uh, just like Walmart and all the other stores, on, in their aisles, pointing which way you have to walk, and the other arrow, the other aisle for the opposite way, so there'll be less traffic of people in the aisles. But um, I um, went there mainly looking for canned goods and thing, food that I cannot find at Walmart. And I wanted to see if there was a food shortage at the Dollar Tree. And also, you know, I just, um, I'm doing my garden and I saw a Dollar Tree haul video from another YouTuber. And they, they had these cute little pots that I wanted that has the little hook that you could hook them to anything. And I was telling my daughter about those before I even saw her video. And I said, oh, look, Dollar Tree selling those. I, I want I want to get the, those pots. But when I went, they were so popular. I think everybody's gardening because the gardening area, there was hardly no pots. I found only two and um, no dirt and no starter kit um, sealing packages, nothing. All they had was the gloves uh, for gardening and hooks and things like that. But they ran out of pots. So I'm glad to see that because, you know, I'm glad to see that other people are, you know, concerned and starting their own little garden. You know, even if it's just with a few vegetables or fruits that you're growing, it makes a difference. It's some You're doing something. So anyway, so let's get back to Dollar Tree's haul. And I'm going to share with you one of the things that I did find in Dollar Tree was toilet paper. It is bad, people. Toilet paper. They did have, I went looking for the um, the Scott tissue one, the four packs for a dollar, but they didn't have those. But they did have these, and I only bought one pack. They had boxes and boxes of them on the floor. They had them on, on the shelves. So they did have a lot. So it looks like paper toilet is coming back, guys. Um, I did see uh, another store that had paper toilet as well. That was Family Dollar. I did see paper toilet family Family Dollar. So it's coming back. So because I bought a pack like I think two weeks ago at Family Dollar, I just bought this one. I wanted just to keep a stockpile because with everything that's going on, right, everybody knows... Uh, it's not a secret everything that's going on in the news with food and and things like that That's why I want to just be prepared. So I got this one and I know it's not the best quality, but hey Did you remember when people were fighting for toilet paper at least it's better something than nothing and You know, I do like I said, I do have toilet paper that I bought um, back in February So I still have those so yeah, so guys go get your toilet paper. They do have it over there um, I'm going to go, I bought some food items and I bought some, um, also some fun stuff. So let's get to the food item. I was curious. I went first to the, um, cleaning supply. I went looking for a Lysol or see if they had Clorox. So another thing that Dollar Tree has is a lot of Clorox. So go there and get your Clorox so you can make your own, um, 
cleaning supply uh, to disinfect your counters and stuff. You really don't have to spend a lot of money in those um, the, the bottles at the store that everybody's trying to find from Lysol and all that. And you can actually make your own. I uh, I think I don't have my bottle here, but um, I get one of those uh, spray bottles and I fill it up with water and then I put a, uh, a cap of Clorox or two and then I put vinegar, uh, white vinegar, and I spray everywhere and it just disinfects just the same. So let me just show with share with you uh, one of the exciting things I found at Dollar Tree and my Dollar Tree. I never seen these before, but they're kind of pricey at the stores, and I was very excited to find find these. So these, this is the alkaline water, and um, these are very pricey at the store. So look at that, a dollar for a liter. So this is the one that's very healthy for you. They try to tell you to get the best water is the pH 10 or at least as close to it. And this one has the uh, pH 9.5. So you can't go wrong with that. It's a one liter. So, so it does have electrolytes. So it's alkaline water and electrolytes. So this one's called 65 Alka. They had so many of these. They had so many of these. Um, I only bought two. I wish I could have buy more, but I only bought two because I had a budget limit for food, and my concern was more with uh, food and uh, canned goods, trying to find canned goods and meat. So I had like an $80 limit, $84 limit to be exact. So uh, go get these guys. I mean, a liter for a dollar. You can't go wrong with that. So... I don't know. I might tell my daughter to get me some. So those were a great find. I never seen those at my Dollar Tree. Another thing is they probably they have these all in Dollar Tree. Arizona green tea for a dollar, right? Um, it's green tea, and um, we all need to start drinking something more healthier. You know, the alkaline uh, electrolytes water green tea it's good for you and this is a dollar for a 34 ounce so that's not bad i got myself the green tea and they had they were almost gone guys they only had like five of these very little so everybody's thinking the same way and then i bought my daughter likes the iced peach iced tea with peach flavor also the same one a dollar so i got her two of these because we hardly don't drink juice here i don't mind a green tea drinking it every day but we hardly don't drink juice here we drink a lot of water so this is like a treat for us so i got her two two of those so um something's like making my face itch i don't know what it is you know it has to happen right when you get on video right so that's that's the um, great finds that I found with the juices and water. I'm so happy. So another thing that I found, and you guys know what's going on with the. Um, hold on one second. I'm just gonna get a tissue because I really don't know what's going on with my nose. My face really is itchy. I think I put a, a some makeup on it and it never did that before. I don't know. Excuse me. So then. Um, um, on the news, and I don't know if it's true, but I seen videos. But you know how I don't understand how they're throwing. You know, all of us are suffering without working, without having money to survive. Um, people are going to food banks. The lines are like so long. Food bank is trying to keep up with food for people that are in need. And I'm watching videos where I don't understand why they're throwing out all the milk. Killing the livestock, the cows, the chickens, destroying the eggs. I just, I just don't understand. No, I don't understand why, guys. So, it's important to stock up on your milk. So, what I found at Dollar Tree is they have these uh, milk, one quart milk. This is whole milk. Because I was looking for the plant milk because they do have plant milk. But in my store, I'm sorry, excuse me. Something's itchy. Uh, my store is, uh, they have both, but my store they didn't have any of the plant milk. So I guess somebody's been buying them. So that's great. So my last haul video, you saw that I bought half a gallons of the um, plant milk that is shelf life for two years. And the other one is for one year. 
So I have about a two gallons and a half of those. Um, so I went, I saw these, although we don't drink cow milk here. Um, but like I said, in a state of the emergency, <laughs> you drink whatever. So that's good for a dollar. You know, I was buying those little cans of milk at Walmart. Um, what do you call those milk? Like, um, they come in the little cans and those were like a dollar or five. And so this is a better deal. So, yeah. So I got two. And I think I left two there. There was not that many left. People are buying them. So another thing I wanted to see is if if is Dollar Tree had any food. Because um, Walmart is, the shelves are bare. Every time I go, the canned goods are gone. I mean, people are like, as soon as they put it on a shelf, people are just grabbing it. So, you know, first come, first serve. So I'm thinking that maybe dollar tree is going to be bare too because people are not finding it in other stores and they're going to go to the dollar tree well i was wrong <laughs> my dollar tree was well stocked i'm going to share with you a few things I, I found at the dollar tree um one thing is that they have the olives and i love olives but these are a dollar and i haven't had them in a very long time i never tried these at dollar tree so yeah so i found that there one of the canned goods I found was um, white turkey. And I never seen white turkey. I seen white breast meat and chicken breast. And I seen the dark uh, chicken um, meat. But not white turkey. So I bought one, I believe, just to see how it is. So, yeah. So this is um, five ounce. It's good to just to start my start my stockpile because I am canning but I also want to have a stockpile as well but I wanted to see what they had so another thing they had which I was looking for at Walmart and they didn't have it was the chili with beans this is a 15 ounce southern gates for a dollar they had quite a few of these they had a shelf full of these they had a lot of these and this is a great stockpile because it has the ground beef in it and right now we are looking at a possibility of having a shortage in meat so it's good to also buy these cans that already have meat in it for your stockpile for your family so i think i got a few of these and i said like i said i wanted to buy much more i wish i had the funds but um i don't have any money in the budget for fruit right now so i got at least some of the stuff I wanted to see if I had another one so another uh, thing that I found and I'd never seen these before not even in Walmart another food can is um, tomato okra and corn so it's from Margarita Margaret Holmes and this is 14.5 uh, ounce so it's almost a 15 ounce another Thing to have in your pie, uh, stockpile because I am not growing okra this year I wanted to but I'm already growing enough that I want to be able to handle and also um, I'm sharing with my neighbors so okra is something that I like I ate it for the first time like uh, I think um, just a few months ago but I ate the frozen kind so this has corn tomatoes and okra so i bought a few of these and they had quite a few of those um so yeah so i bought two only because i wanted to buy more like i said i was on a budget and i was on my way to to the groceries to buy meat and i have stopped that dollar tree first another thing i saw at walmart and it was just a few cans was the collard greens and there were more than a dollar. So this is the same brand and it says heart in the service. So it's good for your heart um, and your cholesterol. So yeah, it's the same people. So you have collard greens in a can and it's preserved. Um, also, um, this is good until 2000, um, 2021. You know, I thought I brought my glasses with me, and I don't see them here. 
Okay. And then this one is good until February of 2021. So yeah, guys, when you go to Dollar Tree, look at the expiration date. It's very important. Um, and this one's the same thing, 2021. So they're good for to next year. This one says 2023, the chili beans. So that's good. Look at the expiration date, guys. So yeah, I got me two of those. My daughter's not going to eat that. I'm the only one that's going to eat it. So another thing I found, name brand, canned goods at Dollar Tree. And I don't remember seeing this there before. But um, this is the Green Giant Sliced Beets. Now, everybody's growing their beets and stuff. I'm not growing beets this year in the garden. Because I want to feel more comfortable with um, the food that I'm growing now. Um, so, I rent here. I have this part of the yard. And so, I can't grow a lot of food. I'm in a limit of growing food. So, I got to pick growing what we like to eat. And I like to eat beets. But anyways, they have this one. So that is also 15 ounce. Yeah. And it's good to start stocking up on these guys. And um, 2021 is good until June, June of 2021. So a little over a year. And I bought two. So everything I bought two of because I didn't want to... Well, not everything, but I didn't want to spend a lot of money. Um, and then I have two packs of these, of packs of 12. But I saw this one there. So I just picked it up just to show you guys. Um, so this is a dollar. Yeah. And um, expires 2021. And this is 10 ounce. And they had a few of these. So... Another thing I found, this is the last can. They didn't have any more. Was the Hanover brand. A brown sugar baked beans. 20 ounce. For a dollar. And this expires January of 2023. So that is a good find to keep in your style pot. Style pile. Uh, because um, it's a one pound of beans. Baked beans. And my daughter loves the um, the brown sugar baked beans. She doesn't like too many beans, but she likes this one from, what's that brand, Bush? Um, Bush beans. And, you know, Bush beans are a little pricey. So, um, people were buying these because this is the last one I was there. And this is a good buy. This is a 20 ounce. So, for a dollar. And, um, I found this in my Dollar Tree. i never seen this before. I thought it was... Since I'm canny, I thought it would be nice to have mild bananas, pepper rings, fresh picked. 24 ounce. Look how big that is for a dollar. So if you like to cook like I do, um, and I love peppers. I am growing a few different types of peppers in my garden. Another thing that I found that is great to have is because I remember not being able to find lemons online. I'm not in the store online. This is when I was in going into the stores. I was ordering online and they would never had lemons and I was out of lemons for a month or two. Then when I found the lemons, I bought the lemons. I got them finally online from Walmart. I froze them because I wanted to make sure I had lemons. It's lemon juice. So, it's a 32 full ounce, one quart. 100% juice from concentrated lemon juice. They had lime as well, but I didn't want the lime. I wanted the lemon. And I tell you, there was only a few bottles left. People are buying this because of the coronavirus. I know um, <clears throat> a lot of people are making lemon teas, putting ginger and um also is is a good alternate you know alternative case you can't find lemons so i was i wanted to buy me a lemon tree but because i didn't want to go inside walmart uh, walmart's um is the cheapest price to buy fruits trees and vegetable trees because 
um, fruit trees because um, they're like $20 and everywhere else they're like $50 like Home Depot so my daughter was supposed to get a lemon tree for Mother's Day and I don't know what happened they went to buy it and I don't know what happened she came home with something else so I didn't dare ask her but okay so um, I found these they always sell these pork rinds so I got this you know, it's good to have a little snack here and there. A dollar. I haven't had those in a while. Um, great find. I This is new in my Dollar Tree. I don't know how long it's been out. Like I said, I haven't been in Dollar Tree in a little bit, a few months. But this is something I found at the Dollar Tree. And it's they have this new roasted ground coffee, premium quality. And I got it's a six ounce bag for a dollar. Have you guys tried these? Let me know if they taste good. This is the first time I'm trying them. Now, I'm not going to open mine because these this is only going to be for emergency when I run out of my other coffee. And I don't want to go to the store. So, it says here, expire 2021. So, yeah, six ounces. So, they have this flavor, coffee blend. And then I found... Hazelnut and there's another one but I guess he put it in another bag yeah all right so I think the other one he oh there's a bag behind me I'll show you the other one when I get it so another I do want to say something about the coffee though the coffee let me just see this bag here I'm sorry guys Thought I bought three. I know I bought three. Oh, this is fun stuff. Give me one minute because I really want to show you. I bought the French vanilla, and that's the one I really wanted. And I'm hoping he didn't forget it. I left it out of my bag. Now I'm thinking I don't have it. So let's see. Let's see. It's got to be somewhere. So, um, I want to give you a tip about when you go buy these. Okay. When you go buy these, the first they're in a box at my store where the coffees with the food aisle is in the bottom shelf. And so I said, Ooh, coffee. I never seen these. So I grabbed them. So the first first three I grabbed, they were like hard. They were hard. And I put them in my carriage thinking that, that was normal. But then I was like, No, that's not normal. So I went back and I moved some out of I looked on in, underneath the box, inside the box, and the, so they had the hard ones on top, and then these were the soft ones. See how you can hear it? So yeah, just just keep in mind that. Just if you find hard ones, don't get discouraged. Just keep looking and searching in the box. You'll find more fresher ones. Okay, That's what I'm trying to say. So now, uh, when I went to Walmart about a week ago, I have the Walmart haul video up um i did buy some of the tortillas for my daughter the flour tortillas she likes this is about three dollars and change and there were only eight of them i believe or ten ten and i never seen if i never see these at my um, dollar tree if they have them they always run out so i found 12 for a dollar there's 12 in here for a dollar and these are up to two thousand. Well, I can't see. August first, two thousand twenty-three, and Delhi Barrios fresh and soft tortillas, no cholesterol. Anyways, that's a good find for a dollar. So these. I don't know if you know, but tortillas are very good in freezing. You can put them in a the freezer. And um, they do very well in freezers. So I bought two of them because I like to make quesadillas here for the kids. I make little pizzas with these. I make so many things with these. And they love it. So I'm glad to have these two packs because we just finished the one we bought at Walmart. That's how much they like it. They're just the other day and they're gone already. So um, I'm glad that I found these. And they had quite a few of those. Um, 
Let's just get this up and put this over here. Yeah, so see, I have the, um, I have the French vanilla. So I have all of them. These are the only three they had. So I wanted to, French vanilla is my favorite, but I wanted to try them out and see how they taste. How's, which one's better? I don't know. Okay, you know, now that we're stout, you know, we're um, working in our uh, prepping and, um, um, you know, buying groceries and trying to, I'm trying to have groceries at least up to the end of the year um, because I don't know what, how good things are going to turn out. So um, one thing that you can't forget is seasoning. Now, they had a lot of bottles of seasoning. Um, I bought so many garlic and onion ones at Walmart, which I forgot to share with you guys in my video, my grocery haul from Walmart. But I did find, um, you know, when this whole corona thing shut down first started, you couldn't find in my Walmart, you couldn't find the, um, the onion ones that are um, dry onions in it. Um, they were gone. And so I found some the other day and I bought about 10 bottles of all together of garlic, onion, and dry onions. But that was the small bottle uh, that they sell at Walmart. I think it's like a five ounce. So this is, you know, the Walmart brand that's like 88 cents. So this one is 12 ounce garlic and pepper seasoning. They had different ones. And this is a good find for a dollar. I mean, you need seasoning when you're going to be, um, it's important to have different type of seasoning in case, you know, you're where we have to stay in quarantine right now. We're still in quarantine, but we don't know if this is going to be a second wave of this. And then we might have to be in quarantine again. I don't know. My, I live in a town of Connecticut, um, the state of Connecticut and they, today is May the 20th. Today's the first day they just started opening, uh, businesses like restaurants and nail salons and very little they're starting little by little so um it's good to have different seasoning guys and they have many ones they've had this one with the steak it's for steak and i wanted to grab it so bad but i was like in a limit money limit to buy food right now my budget was very small so um they had also the same size bottles as walmart they have so they had like two, three, they have one, two, three shelves. These were on the top shelves, obviously, because they're bigger of seasons, guys. So try it out. I don't know how they taste at Dollar Tree. I never bought them there. So I'll let you know if I, if it was worth the dollar, um, I'll let you know, but I never bought it there before. So it's important to go get that guys. The one thing that I was looking for at the Dollar Tree for seasoning is turmeric because I have Thank God I have like three bottles of the organic turmeric that I bought at Walmart like two, three months ago, um, about two months ago on online order. And when I went to Walmart this time around, they had no turmeric at all. People were just buying the turmeric. They had no Epsom salt. They didn't have no Himalaya salt either. I went to Dollar Tree looking for Himalaya salt. They didn't have none either. People are just buying it because, you know, they want to stay healthy. I'm not cleaning my nose. It's just so itchy around this face. I think it's the makeup that I put on. And so I do have Himalaya salt that I bought in Dollar Tree. Um, so I still have two package plus some in a mason jar. So I'm not worrying about it right now. But it was trying to see just to buy a little bit here and there for my um, stockpile. So I ran out of barbecue sauce. I bought some in the beginning of the pandemic. We had only like five bottles and we already used them all. So the brand I bought before was Bullseyes at Dollar Tree and I didn't like it. It didn't have that really barbecue flavor at all. So I'm glad it had crap. Original. So this is um, one quart for a dollar. So I made sure that I stocked up. I bought four and... Um, they had a lot of ketchup too, guys, but I didn't buy ketchup because um, for two months ago, we bought about 10 bottles. When this first started, I bought 10 bottles of ketchup there 
a name brand Heinz because um, my daughter can't live without ketchup. <laughs> so I made sure she got her ketchup. So yeah. So one thing I want to talk to you about, guys, is beans. I have a lot of beans. I have probably 20 pounds of different kinds of beans that I have to can. But I don't have pinto beans. And I don't have... I have about seven canned beans. I have black beans. I have white beans. I have all kinds of beans. But I didn't have pinto beans. So, Dollar Tree, a dollar. This is the pinto bean. And, oh, man, they had so many. I wanted to buy at least 10. 16 ounce. I wanted to buy 10, but I just didn't have the money. I didn't have the money because I had to buy all the canning stuff and the dehydrator and I think that's important as important as having the food because you need to put the food somewhere you know especially if you don't have a lot of freezer space and you don't have you want the food and to really you know last you for uh, canning it could last you for years so I had to put my 20 pounds of rices somewhere and I did that's why I bought the half gallon canning so I was in a limit, but at least I got my two bags. I had a lot, guys. So when I went to Walmart a few times, few online, and then when I went to the store, they didn't have these. They didn't have this. And Walmart had those little, little packs of beans, and they're not a dollar. They're a couple dollars. So, okay. So you know how the stores are getting expensive with the rice. And some places you can't find rice. And um, Dollar Tree has a lot of rice. But it is a two pound only, but it's rice. And it's a dollar. So Pampa Long Grain Rice. I only bought one pack to share with you guys. Because I have about 20, 30, 50 pounds of rice. Um... So 50 pounds of rice, I'm okay with that right now. So long grain white rice, two pounds for a dollar. Not even the food pantry gives you two pounds. Because I used to have to go to the food pantry for a while, for almost two years. Because I had an uh, injury at work and I wasn't working. And they only had the one pounder. I mean, this is this is two pounds. So they're a dollar. So if you buy... Uh, you spend five dollars a ten pound. That's the same for something I spent the other day in a ten pound bag at Walmart. So it's the same thing. If you can find it at Walmart, just buy five of these. It's the same price. So don't look at it because it's oh it's a smaller rice bag of rice. What am I gonna do with that? That's not gonna feed my family. Just do the calculations, do the math. Uh, you know how many pounds is it? How much it costs? If I get it at Walmart, how much is it? It's the same thing. It's the same thing per pound and per price. It's the same thing. So get a few bags of them, you know. Um, if, you tr if you have food already, there's a lot of people been prepared for years because there's a lot of preppers out there. If you have food already, then get some for the pantry. You know, I wish I could help out the pantry. But I, as you can see, I'm, I'm, a, I'm in a limit of food for myself. But you could get it for the food pantry. Okay, I think that's it for the food. Um, I'm, gonna sh I'm very excited to find this. Okay, this is awesome. This is a very healthy water. And I'm very glad to find these. And actually, I'm going to ask my daughter to buy me at least five more. <laughs> so, that was a great find. Um, the seasoning, because it was, it's just, you know was also 12 ounces for a dollar that was a great find for me um the toilet paper <laughs> so the dry cans the dry cans and the milk was very important to me and i'm hoping they could stock more on this milk and i hope because they only had they only had i believe I think I, I didn't take the last two. I think there were four, and I took two. And I only did that because I'm in a budget. But I hope they get more because um, of what's going on. And I was, I'm going to check this milk out. I'm hoping that it's okay. It says it doesn't expire for another year. 
in, in April of 2021. But one time I bought plant milk. See, this one sounds pretty good in there, but we'll see. I bought plant milk in the Dollar Tree. The one that you, it's a, uh, uh, the one's on the shelf for a dollar. And it said expire in a year, but I opened it to be curious and it was spoiled. So, I don't know. We will see. Not a great loss. It was a dollar, but we'll see. I don't know about the whole milk. So, things I bought at Dollar Tree are these um, bath sponges because ours were looking old. Don't you hate that when they get all stretched out and they're all getting old? So, they had a lot of beautiful, a lot of things in there with spring colors, and this was one of them. So, I got yeah, I her. I never seen this one in my Dollar Tree, these colors. I saw like blue and white and green but this is spring color so i guess because it's spring now now i saw a youtuber doing a video about a haul a dollar tree haul and she found these very cool pencils and my daughter loves these pencils i mean pens and they were gone they only had a few and i bought what i found <laughs> so these are cute and fun for the kids now that they're homeschooling um you know and they look like a lot of fun, you know, the eraser uh, head here. It's actually not an eraser. It's very spongy. It's just a design and it's soft. So it's safe for even little, you know, younger kids. Well, they shouldn't be using pens, but it's safe anyways for children that are in school um, because it's not plastic. It's very soft. So um, I thought these were cute. They had... Um, a french fry ones like a McDonald's french fry well, it wasn't McDonald's but it was a french fries um, and they had um, I saw um, the youtuber that did the haul for the Dollar Tree she found one with feathers on the top and butterflies on the top and fairies and unicorns and those were gone because I didn't see any of those I actually went there looking for those but at least we got these two but they have more I just wanted to buy two but not the one she um, bought. So, the other day was my birthday. And I, ever since this quarantine thing, I've not been up to, you know, doing my nails or my makeup or my hair. Um, yeah, I washed my hair and put it up. But, you know, I just didn't want to dress up or anything like that. I mean, for what? We're not going anywhere. And I was a little bit down. And so, for my birthday, I was sad. I don't know. I woke up sad. So... Not because it was my birthday, it was just, I don't know. So I said, you know what, I'm going to get up and take a shower. And I did my hair, and I did my nails, and my daughters were very happy. They, was, they said, oh, you look pretty. Well, my daughter, my 14-year-old, she likes to do her nails. And I saw these spring colors, nail polishes. So that's the pink, and then they have the, uh, I don't know if you can see that. They have the light purple. from gel this is has the gel in it and and then this one light act color yeah so these were the only spring ones I saw and there were some that were empty uh, racks so they might have more um, I think they might have the baby blue but I didn't see it and the green that's what I saw in another video the blue and the green I was looking for but I didn't see it so um, get it next time all right so one other thing i bought at dollar tree was these and i'll tell you why i bought these one i bought them because every time i buy on my daughter for some reason lose them and misplace them and oh gee i don't know how because we're not we don't go anywhere we're home in quarantine <laughs> we're home in lockdown so i don't know how we're losing them but uh, these are the elastic 100 for a dollar and the reason I got these is because they're thinner and I know some people are going to say oh those are not good for your hair or whatever if they're thin or they're not going to last I don't know I'll try but the reason I really got these is because they're thinner and they're stretch is because I'm going to be using for the socks so you're probably wondering Elaine what are you going to use that for why are you going to use elastic on socks well because I saw a video of a woman making masks out of socks. And um, there's a way that she did it. 
where you don't have to put the elastic. The elastic is for a different video I saw that, uh, which I already practiced it. I already did the, um, you do a mask with the bandera. There's no sewing, there's no glue, no, no nothing. Um, if you wanna watch a, a video of me doing that, just let me know down below. I could do that, cause I don't have the bandera here, it's in my room. But um, I already uh, <clears throat> did this technique and it works. <clears throat> and you put a paper towel in the bandera and then you close it. And then before you close it, you put the these <clears throat> one in one in. And um, <clears throat> sorry guys, I need some water. So yeah, so you just put one in one in one, one minute. <laughs> I'm back guys sorry it's always when I'm doing a video not yet oh, my daughter's asking me if I'm done so since I had to get up and get water um I'm gonna show you the bandera so uh this one is a three pack socks and uh four dollars so we got the black ones to make masks out of them so go check out that video. I don't know if I saw it on Google or on YouTube. But <clears throat> how she cut it and everything. There's no sew, no glue, no nothing to make a mask out of it. The thing I like about these and the Bandera is that you're able to wash, throw them in a washing machine. And wash them and use them over and over. Not like the other hospital masks that they get dirty and you have to throw them away. They're disposable. These, you could use them over and over. So, let me show you real quick. So what you do is you fold the, the the bandera in half, and then you fold, take a paper towel, and fold it in half. Let me see if I could bring this down so you can see what I'm doing. There you go. So, so what I do is I put it in the middle of the bandera, right? So you fold the bandera like this, then you fold it like this, and there you go. You have it in half. Okay. So then you take the elastic, excuse the these, that's why I bought new ones. You take the elastic, you put in one end. You take this elastic and you put in the other end. Right? So you have it like this. So then you fold it in like this. You see? And then this is the other side. But this is the side that's going to go where your mouth is. So I'm going to bring this up so I can show you real quick. And so the reason I bought these elastic is because these are too thick and they were giving me a hard time. So then you put it on like this. And you have a mask. You see that? See? And you take it off, and you throw it in the washing machine, and you could use it over and over. Oh, and another thing, and one of my other um, Dollar Tree videos, I bought these two packs of Banderas at the Dollar Tree. So we have a few of these, quite a few. This is where I got it, it was at the Dollar Tree. It was before this whole Corona thing. I bought it, and then I bought it after the Corona thing. I went and bought more. So yeah, so that's very simple to do. So I bought... A hundred of these because in case my daughter or myself, maybe they break or whatever, but it's good to have. So one dollar for a hundred and these banderas are two for a dollar. And then the socks are another way you can make masks. So back to the video. <laughs> so this is why I made, back to Dollar Tree video. This is why I bought two because not to wear them to make masks out of them <clears throat> for now. Um, I love these guys. These are a dollar for six. And these are sponges. Love them, love them, love them. One will last me like a month. And it will last me longer if I have my microwave worked. Because you could always put them in a microwave for 30 seconds, 20 seconds to kill the bacteria in it. But, because <clears throat> my microwave doesn't work. So anyways, I use one a month, at least. And um, I love them. They're very um, spongy. And um, you guys probably bought these before. You know what I'm talking about. I never went back and bought 
the Walmart, the other brands and Walmart and CBS and all the other stores, name brands. This is one, these are my favorite sponge to wash dishes with and um, whatever you need to use it for. If I have to clean the window cells or whatever, I use this. So I love those. That will last me for six months. Then storage bag. I love these. I bought it once. I do do crochet in this channel, arts and crafts and crocheting. And um, I make blankets for people. And I wish I could sell them, but nobody wants to buy them. They want me to make them. <laughs> I'm trying to, um, on Facebook, I made a channel, a Facebook channel. It's a, uh, it's open for everyone. And it's called, um, oh my goodness, uh, Elaine's Creation Homemade. Um, and um, I'll, I'll put it down in the description below because... I, I know this Elaine's Creations homemade um, at Facebook. Go check it out. But I'm trying to, because we're not working right now, I'm trying to make stuff to sell. And they're beautiful, but nobody wants to, you know, I, I thought that a, a six foot long blanket, um, about three, four feet wide, I thought $40 was a steal um, because I, see, I went on it and... Uh, different websites and I, I saw what people were charging and they were charging seventy eighty dollars so I don't know you know the time we put in it all the yarn we buy the time it takes to make it plus I will ship it the forty dollars was a steal so I don't know why no one ever private messaged me to buy one order one so anyways back to, I make the blankets and when I give them out as gifts I put them in this bag keep them nice and fresh so I buy every time I'm in my I'm making somebody a blanket I'll buy it and put it in there. I don't buy a bunch of those boxes just only if I'm making somebody a blanket. Then I bought this. Um, this is a, a mesh strainer because um, I needed a new one, and it's good for when you are canning. So I bought one of these, and I bought this because I'm a canning kit. It didn't come in one of these and I guess you need this for when you're canning pick up a high hot <clears throat> um lids or something and so dollar at the Dollar Tree it's not bad so we'll see I bought new toothbrushes at the Dollar Tree and I bought the reach essentials because I bought the three packs that they sell at the Dollar Tree that comes with the cases to keep them clean. Um, whoa, those I did not like. I think this part of it is very cheap. <clears throat> and uh, they were hard. They had no soft ones. So I bought the three packs to have one here for my grandson, me and my daughter, and we were going to be in quarantine, so, I mean lockdown, so I want to make sure we had them, but I wasn't too happy with them. So I bought this one. And then I bought, they had a lot of fun parties of tablecloths, plastic ones. I like to buy these for the summer and spring. Um, actually, I bought this one because they had the mason jars on them. So cute. And I bought it from my back table, so um, and the, that I have in my back porch. Okay, and then I bought it. Of course, we have to get the one with watermelons on them. Just to cheer us up, make the place look nice. I go to the back in the mornings, and I drink my cup of coffee. When the sun's going up, I'm enjoying the birds. They're chirping everywhere. I'm drinking my hot coffee. You just want to sit somewhere where it looks nice, and it just cheers you up you know and um <clears throat> if you guys want to see a video uh morning uh video that i could make that uh i guess my morning routine a little quick video when i go out to the porch and you could hear those birds when me we have a lot of birds in the back big trees anyways um i saw these i thought they were cute they're fun these bottles for a dollar now for the summer and I bought this one for a dollar. Thought they were cute and fun. Um, 
Um, I like the head wraps. Um, when you the microfiber hair wraps. Oh, uh, these last for a long time. I have the green and blue that last for I don't know. I might have these for three years already. So I, it, we need new ones. But <clears throat> um, one got lost. So anyways, they had different spring colors. They had them in purple. They had them in pink. The light pink and purple and blue. And in my Dollar Tree, I only saw them in the green and the darker blue and so that was nice to see i only bought one you see you get to uh i recommend these guys we love these i put it on when i'm about to get out the shower you know when you're trying to dry yourself and you wash your hair and you, your back is all still wet after you dry yourself you're trying to put your shirt on your back still wet you're wetting your shirt well it's good this is good because um you get to wrap your hair up and this is great quality as well. It lasts me three years. I still have them. It still works. And Glint Wrap. I got these because I ran out. And and I got me new measuring cups because I have a black set. And I got some of these missing. And with canning. I bought them because of canning. Because it's important to have measuring cups and measuring spoons. So I'm going to make sure I have everything I need for canning. Um, so I'm excited about that. Yeah, so that looks like it's the, the tr my tree haul for today. Um, Dollar Tree haul, guys. Um, I think I, I loved everything they had. Um, they had, I was looking for some fun sunglasses that a YouTuber showed on one of her Dollar Tree haul, her recent Dollar Tree haul now for the spring and they have these cute fun glasses and they didn't have them but i did go to the sunglass aisle um section where they have the sunglasses they have some nice sunglasses for a dollar really nice ones um i didn't buy any because like i said i was trying to be in a budget so this was one of the funnest the nicer things i bought that i saw there with cups so i really like these they're cute and they come in I wanted to find, they had the mason jar one with the lemonade in it. I saw one, a YouTuber bought one of those. I didn't see that one. So I only saw these. And these were the last few bottles. I think people are just buying them like crazy. <clears throat> so yeah. So um, that was a great day for me. And um, because um, the store was not that packed. And the people that were in there were friendly, even the customers. They were staying away six feet apart very nice um so guys um that's my video for today go to dollar tree go if you're prepping and stocking up your food pantry for you and your family just because the big box stores are running out it doesn't mean that dollar trees and other stores or local stores don't have food because they do so as you can see i all the canned goods i found even that water this that water um was like gold mine it was a gold mine it was like i won the lottery with that one because i never seen that there like when i was eating plant-based and healthy last year and a year before i tried to find that water and i found it i think only at walmart and it was very expensive and i never bought it so th that's a dollar for a liter that's awesome so guys thank you so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and guys please be safe god bless and um, I did want to share with you, um, you know how I'm doing canning, and I just put up my uh, video for my, uh, go check out my video that I put up for the, the first time my unboxing of my dehydrator. First time using one, I'm 51 years old, I never dehydrate anything in my life, I never can anything in my life, so this is all new. Anyway, I just want to share with you really quick, because I started last night. And this is about two pounds of corn, and I dehydrated this yesterday. This is um, frozen veggies. I'm trying to make room. The reason I'm doing this is because I'm trying to make room in my freezer for meats. So I'm going to uh, freeze up more vegetables today. So that was fun and easy. I don't know what took me so long to do it. <coughs> Sorry, guys. So thank you, guys. I apologize. I don't know why my throat is so dry. I was outside sitting with my daughter earlier, and I think it's all the pollen. So thank you, guys. Um, 
I'll see you in my next video. You guys have a great day. I hope it's sunny and, sh and bright out there like today. We're having great weather. It's really, it's like eight, almost 80 degrees out here. So it's good for my plants. So thank you guys. Have a blessed day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.